great. <laughs> You're probably going to find like five people. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm sorry. I had to make fun of you for a second because you're believing propaganda, but that's fine. Fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And definitely look up the 40 babies that were unalived. <laughs> Go look that up, too. Yeah, I'm sure you believe that as well. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? You can't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie on a public platform. Why is nobody mentioning the rape party held in military base? I know, they, they forget to mention all that stuff. Sell so my swear. But anyway, that's fine. Dude, I used to live in the country. You guys, I used to live in the freaking country. And human shields? Oh, here we go with the human shields, you guys. You're following propaganda. That that literally just proved everything that you are following propaganda. Wow. My my love, my love. I am so sorry that you believe that. It's fine. It's fine. That is the scenario that's being pushed on you by like Fox News, CNN, all of the above, okay? I'm so sorry. Like I literally feel bad for you because I used to believe that too until I looked it up myself. All you can do, you can literally watch videos out there. Like people literally that you see using kids as a human shield is <laughs> the IDF. But I, I can send you videos of that. Do you want some videos of that? I can send you videos where they push the kid out, where they push the kid out right behind them. Yeah, I'm telling you it. Like, oh girl, you're in for a rude awakening. If anybody wants to send that girl some videos of like the IDF doing that to some kids, please do because it, it's, it happens so frequently. But that's fine. You know what? I don't even want to argue with you. Yeah, you guys, this girl, the country girl, please send her videos of the IDF because there's so many out there. But hopefully you'll understand what we're talking about. Don't follow propaganda, please. They can't handle facts. No shit, man. This is so true. They really can't. There was a lot of... There was like 70 plus massacres, guys, during that Nakba era. 70 plus people were unalive. Especially the Sabra and Shatila, one of the worst, saddest stories I've ever heard. Bro, country girl! Like, dude, I swear, if we send you videos... Can we listen, listen, listen. If if this if we say that the sky is blue, you can see it's blue, right? If we send you videos of the IDF using kids as human shields, you won't believe us, right? That just sounds like typical people who just don't want to understand the truth, but that's fine. If I could go to Gaza to volunteer, I would. I don't think they're letting anybody in though. Look up what happened at the Nova Festival. Oh, wait, where the 260 people died? Yeah, no. Nobody died. Maybe a few people. That was caught in the crossfire. Girl, I'm, like, tired of your... I'm sorry. You can take your redneck personality out of here because I ain't got time for your... You know, I used to be a country girl, too. I lived... Born and raised in Illinois where, like, literally there's nothing but cornfields and cattle. Weeha! I ain't got time for that no more. I found out that the, the Republican Party's corruption, they're all corrupt. They're corrupt as fuck. Democrat, Republican. But the my, my, mindset of the Republicans, they're so focused on disgusting things. It's ridiculous. It's gross. But anyway. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I know I shouldn't. Do you plan on joining Hamas? If I could, I would. Just saying. The resistant fighter. Thank you. Yeah, I don't even know why that I even talk to people like this because I'm not gonna. I'm not changing anybody's mind, and my mind is not ever gonna be changed. Like I know what I want, so.